good morning students welcome back to your computer lecture i request all the students to kindly remove their workbook and a pencil in the last chapter we studied about the evolution of computers right we saw what was the hierarchy or the invention when did it began the history about computers the evolution like abacus pascaline right then we learned about the generations first fifth second third fourth fifth generations now we will be learning about the hardware and software as computer is a machine it is comprising of hardware parts and the software parts so we will take a look at what are the components in chapter number 2 hardware and software page number 11 let's quickly be ready with with the chapter let's begin chapter 2 hardware and software a computer is an electronic device that is used to store and organize data you can also use it to find information using the internet it helps you to perform different activities such as performing calculations playing games listening to music and finding information it performs these functions based on the instructions provided by the user right again to reiterate what is a computer it's an electronic device that is used to store and organize data like it's a machine that is used in a day to day life to ease a task we can find using like we can make use of the computer or find information using the internet internet is one of the largest network that helps us to connect to different people different located at different places in different countries so with the help of technology the advancement has come to a, a great help right not only performing calculations but computers are used in various sectors like hospitals schools colleges railways hotels airlines defense in regards of the field computers have their own set of rules and the usage it performs as per the instructions given those computers are designed to or instructed in this in such a way that they should function as per their requirement right in the various fields that they are used reading further when you provide an input to the computer it processes the input and provides you the required output the output can be displayed on the monitor or printed using a printer all these tasks can be performed due to various parts of the computer these parts form the hardware and software components of the computer the second paragraph explains that when you provide an input to the computer it will definitely do something in the background something will happen in the background and then whatever has happened will be displayed as the output on a monitor also known as the screen or we can use a printer to get the hard copy so all these various tasks that are performed we definitely require a hardware and a device to perform that task and that device needs a software which comprises of the instructions and the way it should the way the device should process or function so let's try to learn more about them
Hardware. We'll begin with the hardware. Hardware is the physical part of the computer and includes devices such as CPU, mouse, keyboard, printer and monitor. These devices form the input device, output devices, storage devices and processing devices. They are useful for entering information into a computer, storing the information, processing the information and viewing the output on a computer. So what is a hardware students? It says hardware is a physical part that we can touch with our hands or physically see with our eyes. So those are the devices which are known as the hardware, like hard components. These devices are the CPU. I'm sure CPU, you all must be aware. What does it stands for? Right, central processing unit. Then we have mouse, keyboard, printer and monitor. These are the various devices that we see. Now amongst these devices, or these devices are divided into input devices, output devices, storage devices and processing devices. Right. And all these have their own functionality or the usage. They are used for these devices like hardware then followed by, let's take a look at the picture below. Right. Hardware is further classified as input devices, output devices, secondary storage devices and processing devices. I request students to kindly draw this diagram in their notebook. And also you may see I have underlined few words just to show you an example. I have underlined few words. I request you all to write these words in your notebook. So these are the types of hardware. So let's try to understand them one by one. To begin with, input devices. What are input devices? Input devices are the devices that are used to provide data or information to the computer. Examples of input devices include mouse, keyboard, scanner, microphone, joystick and webcam. As the word suggests students, input. We have to input something in order to make use of the computer that we designed we have to input the data and how we input that information we use keyboard mouse scanner microphone joystick and webcam these are few examples through which a data or a user can enter their data into the computer the basic one let's see further mouse a mouse is an input device that is used to provide data or information to a computer. A mouse has two buttons, left button and right button, along with a scroll wheel, which is used to move up and down a page. Alright students. Mouse, we all have seen, we all have been to the practical lab, we all have, have hands on experience the usage of the mouse. So, again, to understand what is a mouse, a mouse is an input device that is used to provide information. It basically controls the movement of the cursor on the monitor screen. It has two buttons. Yes, we all have seen that clicks that we have used, right click, left click, those buttons are also known as clicks, like left button, right button and in the center you have a wheel which is known as the scroll wheel or the mouse wheel which is used to move up and down a page like a scroll. Next input device is a keyboard. 
A keyboard is an input device that is used to type data or information into a computer. A keyboard consists of different types of keys which are used for typing alphabets, numbers, special characters, special functions and symbols. I'm sure we all have used the keyboard as well to type in the data or any for any other purpose like text, characters, numbers. Right? Few students may have computer, a desktop computer or a laptop at home. You can take a look. If you ever happen to ca count guys, a keyboard consists of 104 keys right, which comprises of different types of letters or keys right? alphabet keys number keys special character keys and special function keys let's take a look at the keyboard an example of a keyboard And here's one example of a mouse. See? In center there is a wheel separated by the two buttons, left button and a right button. I'm sure once our school starts regularly, hopefully, as per the government guidelines, and once we have the practical sessions. We can do a refresher and understand in details. The next time, this is, we all have experienced this, we all have done in, done in practice. What we are trying to do is to understand those terms and terminologies in the computer language. Okay, so let's take a look at one more example. If you turn your page to page number 12, you see there's a keyboard. There is a note written. There are different types of computer keyboards. The original PC keyboard contains 84 keys. The AT keyboard also contains 84 keys. And the enhanced keyboard with 104 keys. See like I told you, the keyboard for today's generation or the keyboard that we see in today's day to day life contains 104 keys however in the original PC keyboard contained 84 keys All right. the next input device is a scanner few may have seen a scanner few students may have not seen a scanner but let's try to understand what is a scanner. A scanner is an input device that helps you to convert the hard copies of documents and photos into digital documents and images. These documents and images can be saved on a computer and they can be viewed and modified later if required. A scanner is one of the input device that helps you to convert the hard copy right? the printed format or the photos or the document any type of hard document that you see which is on a paper in the form of a paper those documents can be converted into the digital format the digital form which is also known as a soft copy okay if the printed formats are called as hard copies the scanned documents are known as soft copies Remember this.